Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zeo901. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying my videos here on this channel. Like I said, I'll be continuing to post on this channel from now on. As you know, it's it's pretty much the main channel I post on now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the videos. And yeah, so let's get into today's video. So today we're going to be going back in time in Club Penguin's history. Now I want to give a big shout out to Club Penguin Rewind. It's an amazing Twitter account. They helped us out with this video because of the tweets they have. And yeah, so let's take a look at these guys. And I'm going to explain to you guys exactly what I remember. Now before we get into that, I want to say I did do a Twitter poll. And I asked how long certain people were in the community for. Most of us were in the community for 5 to 10 years. 15 and on is like, you know back in like 2005 when the game released but yeah and i was in that five to ten year range so yeah anyways let's take a look at this first screenshot guys as you can see right here it says 10 years ago today the 2010 music jam began on the island this was club penguin's third music jam this party released blue headphones for non-members and a red music jam shirt and boombox for members. All penguins could try and meet both Cadence and the Penguin Band as well. Now, I actually remember this, guys. I remember this very vividly and perfectly. This was actually a very fun party to go to. I remember when it just released, I was like, I want to go home, I want to go home, I want to go on this um, party and stuff like that. It was really, really fun, to be honest. I remember Grazer did a video on it, and Grazer was like one of my biggest inspirations back then and it's amazing and honestly chris dog was a huge inspiration of mine as well which is amazing that you know i'm here working with him today but yeah anyways let's move on to the next screenshot this screenshot right here says 14 years ago today the horseshoe pin was hidden on the island this was club penguin's ninth pin and the first pin hidden at the mine shack it was a part of gary's pin collection and appeared on the 2006 page of the 2005 and 2006 yearbook when the large cactus is clicked um i don't remember this pin because i wasn't around in 2006 i started playing club penguin in 2007 that's why i'm in the five to ten year range and yeah anyways let's move on to the next screenshot and actually take that back i'm not in the five to ten year range i joined a little after 10 years ago but anyways let's move on to the next screenshot like i said this screenshot here says 10 years ago today club penguin elite penguin force herbert's revenge was released on the nintendo ds in australia you play as an agent after the end of the psa with the objective to stop herbert herbert's revenge was the second club penguin ds game released i actually remember having a ds game on club penguin and i was like oh my gosh like I would get so mad whenever I didn't pass a mission. It was honestly hilarious. It was amazing, to be honest. I really enjoyed that DS. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.